What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am in New York, upstate New York. Uh, I'm in the Catskills, New York right now. And um, so we're basically in the woods. And if you want to see pictures I'm, I'm posting, because this is like a Team Pixel event. So like we're using our Pixel phones and posting all kinds of content and our uh, Google, you know, paid for us to come out here it's actually a really really cool thing but i put a bunch of pictures on instagram and twitter on those platforms i'm greggles tv i'm actually greggles tv on all, all social media platforms so wherever you want to follow me you can add it add me on greggles tv but uh, it's an absolute crazy um fun event it's nice to meet up with all the content creators and uh eat a bunch of good food and just do some fun activities so without further ado though we got three news stories for you let's jump right into the news first story of the day Actually, has to do with the Pixel phone, and it's going to be the Pixel Ultra phone. Now we now we do have the Google Pixel Seven and Seven Pro, but it looks like it's going to be an Ultra version. I don't. I'm getting a little lost on this because there's rumors that this phone's going to come out imminently, like in the next few months, maybe late 2022, early 2023. I just don't see where this phone really fits in. But if it does, there's a story going around, and Ice Universe is talking about the camera. And he says that it is said that the Pixel Ultra is under development and expected to adopt one inch sensor. Samsung is about to become the smallest sensor of human flagship mobile phones. Even iPhone 14 Pro is larger than the S23 Ultra. Now, what he's basically saying is that the Pixel Ultra phone, whatever it is, the 8 Ultra or 7 Ultra, whatever it ends up being, would have a one inch sensor which allows in more light and potentially gets better photos and that's where they're saying that so i can't imagine what they could add to an uh, you know a pixel 7 phone and make it an ultra versus their pro like i was talking about with some of the creators here we said okay sure better cameras maybe like higher megapixels better uh, zoom uh, a bigger battery potentially maybe a bigger display uh, maybe a faster processor but i mean like is it necessary? Are those things needed? Not necessarily. So I'm actually really curious what they'll end up doing if they do come out with this Ultra version just months after they do a Pro version. Next up, we were talking about Good Lock and one of the new features that's going to be coming to it, which will have to do with the camera. But it looks like the newest version of Good Lock for One UI 5 will be launching very, very soon, potentially as early as October 24th or October 25th. And let's talk about some of the things that could potentially come inside of this big update for this customizable service for Samsung Galaxy phones. So some of those new features are a new good lock module for controlling camera settings, a quick star uh, for getting a top bar stopwatch function and more status bar features. Navstar will soon feature an adjustable task bar button. Home up is getting new share manager features. Clockface will offer support for tablets, a function that allows users to create memes using the Kids Cafe uh, keyboard module, and a new good lock feature for sharing settings and personalized UI settings with elements with friends and other devices. So, you know, a nice little update coming to the One UI 5 slash uh, good lock service. Again, just a couple more weeks. Is it even a couple weeks? What's today? Like Basically like 10 days or so before you get this update. So make sure you look out for it and hopefully we'll get it very, very soon. And our last story of the day has to do with the Galaxy S23 and the processor that's gonna come inside of those phones. And it looks like it's being confirmed that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will be the processor inside of this phone, which is supposed to be a crazy powerful, efficient processor from Snapdragon. It's supposed to bring some big, big improvements in terms of performance. And it's already like, Let's be honest, the 8 Gen 1 performance-wise is a really, really good performing processor. Like anything they can squeeze out of these and make it better and better, it's gravy. It's like extra gravy we probably honestly don't really need. But it's still nice to see that we're going to get more performance, especially if you're a power-hungry user that demands and needs the all this processing power for whatever reason. And then it looks like you'll be getting it with the new S23, 23 Plus, and 23 Ultra phones thanks for watching guys your question of the day is what would you like to see come to the s23 series of phones in terms of improvements what would you like to see improved let me know in the comments down below have a great day we'll see you down the road don't forget to follow me on social media at greggles tv peace